So these are the items that we're going to need for today. We need a tapestry needle to weave in our ends, a four millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and also our yarn. This is a yellow yarn. So let's jump straight into this video. So for beginners, you can just place your yarn in between your middle finger and your thumb, yarn over two time, Take your hook, put it in between your finger and pull up a loop. For me, I like doing it like this. Yarn over, pull up a hoop and pull through. So let's start off by chaining 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nine hold on to that ninth spot and chain two one two yarn over put your needle into that ninth spot that you were holding yarn over pull two one yarn over pull two yarn over pull two all three so we are going to do double crochet so yarn over go into the next stitch Yarn over, pull up a hoop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through all three. Let me show you again. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a hoop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through all three. So you're going to do that until you reach to the end of this round. When you reach right here, I'll meet you there guys so just continue doing that so we're on the last one for this row so chain up two one two turn your work yarn over for beginners you can go right in between the stitches for me I'll be going right in between the V that you see right here into the next stitch right in between the V that's where I'm going for beginners you can go here because it's more easier but I like go in between the V because it gives me a nice pattern but if you want to try you can try because this is a beginners friendly video so yarn over go right in between the V pull up a hoop yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through all three one two three pull through all three go back into the next stitch go into the next stitch sorry guys pull up a hoop pull through one pull through all three and I'm going to make when I finish this section I'm going to tell you how much rows that I did with none increase so just continue doing this guys so we are close to the finishing of this row yarn over go into the next stitch pull up a hoop yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through all three yarn over go into the last stitch yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through all three all right so chain up two turn your work so this row is consists of none increase and you're going to continue doing this until you make five row so we are in our third row so when you reach the five row i'll tell you what next to do so just continue doing this guys so i'm on my fifth row and this row consists of regular crochet no increase no decrease just regular crochet and this is the last one so this is the seat of the panty so we are going to do something different now chain up two one two turn your work yarn over 
go into the same chain two that you just did sorry guys yarn over pull up a hoop yarn over pull two one yarn over pull two all three yarn over going to the next stitch so we did an increase at the end and we're going to just continue to do regular double crochet until we reach at this end so when you reach at this end we're going to do one more increase again so just continue doing that guys so we are close to the end and then we're going to go into the last stitch that we have leave so yarn over go into the last one yarn over pull up a hoop yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through all three and we're going to go right back into that same space yarn over go back into the last stitch one more time yarn over pull up a hoop yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through all three so we did two double crochet the chain two would classify as a double crochet plus the double crochet that we place into the same spot and then we place two double crochet into the last chain so chain of two turn your work the chain two classify as a double crochet you just go right back into that same chain two spot and put in a double crochet so we are doing five row of increase on the two end so just do that guys and when you finish your five row i'll tell you what next to do so i'm on my last row of increase so we are going to do something different after this row so we're going to the last stitch pull up a hoop pull through one pull through all three go back into that same space pull up a hoop pull through one then pull through all three so our five row of increase is finished so chain up two one two turn your work yarn over don't go into that space that we do our increasing go into the next stitch so this is a non increase row so we just go straight to the next stitch instead of go into the same chain two and then just continue so this row is a non increase row so when we reach to the end we are not going to place two double crochet we're just going to place one then continue our work so when we reach to the end of this row guys i'll show you guys what next to do so we actually reach to the end of our non increase row so this is the last stitch we have here so we just go into that stitch pull up a hoop pull through one then pull through all three then no increase just chain up two so this row now is going to consist of a double crochet so we it's going to consist of an increase so we're going to go into the space that we just chain our two from so we're doing we're doing it different this time so just continue with this row we reach to the end of the increase row yarn over going to that space pull up a hoop pull through one pull through all three yarn over go back into that same space because it's an increase pull through one go through all three three so this row at the top that we just finished was an increase and we're going to chain two we're going to do a non increase yarn over don't go into that space that we have our chain to go into the next stitch so this is a non increase row so we just go into it just one time so you're just going to continue doing like this so what we're going to do now we are doing a non increase then we're going to do an increase then a non increase then an increase so i'm going to continue doing this guys and when i reach to the end of the row i'll tell you how much increase and non increase we did so just continue watching guys yes. so i'm on the last row 
so I did seven row of non increase and increase so what I'm going to do now I'm going to just chain up two and then cut it off and then tug on it all right so in all we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty one rows at the front of the bikini so we're going to make back a magic circle and then we're going to go into this end of the bikini bottom and then pull up your magic circle chain two one two all right yarn over just weave in your ends while you're doing this go right back into the same spot that you did your chain two we are starting off the back with increase all right guys so two the chain two plus a double crochet then you go into the next stitch weave in your ends while you are doing this Make sure that my ends are weaving while I'm doing it. Going to every other stitch. When you reach to the end of this row, you're going to put a double crochet into it. So I'll meet you when you finish and reach to the end of the row, guys. So we actually reach to the end of this row. So place two double crochet into the same space. So we have double crochet at the both end. Chain up two, one, two. And we're going in back with increase. So we are going to do five row of increase. So just go back, right back into the same chain two up a hoop and that's we have our increase going to the last stitch go back into that same stitch And that's an increase chain of two yarn over go back into the same stitch with an increase so when you do your five row of increase I'll meet you guys back so I'm on my last row of increase so I did five row of straight increase So I put back a double crochet into that same space. And then we're going to do a different chain up two. And we're going to do like how we did the finishing of the front of the bikini. We're going to place, we're not going to go into that same stain two. We're going to go into the next stitch. And we're going to do a non-increase in this row. So this is a non-increase. And when we reach to the end, I'll show you what we do. Close to the end of this row. And this row is a non-increase row. Go into the last stitch. And you just place one double crochet into a non-increase row. Chain up two. 
turn your work this is an increase row so we're going to place back a double crochet into that chain two space and you're just going to continue this and I'll tell you how much row I'm going to do in all so I'm doing an increase non-increase increase non-increase so just continue that guys and I'll meet you up guys and tell you how much rows in all just so we're on the last row of the back so we did 17 row of increase and non-increase plus the five row so that's 22 row we did in all at the back so we did our five row first and then we did 17 five row of increase then 17 row of increase and non-increase so we're going to do something different now chain up two then go into this space we are going to do our border because we want our bikini to have a neat looking finishing go into the space yarn over pull up a hoop and then pull through all two go into the space pull up a hoop yarn over pull through all two so you're going to do this you can actually do this for the entire bikini around it but i'm going to do something different when i reach right to the seating of the bikini so just continue do this until you reach to the seat tin of the bikini reach right into the section that we're going to do something different so chain of three one two three go back into that same space with a slip stitch go into the next three space one two three chain of three one two three go back into that same space with a slip stitch go into the next three space one two three chain up three one two three slip stitch right back into that three spot and this is a pko stitch and we're going to do this for the entire frontage of the bikini so we're going to do it at the entire side right at the front and do the red lot here then come back here so just continue doing this and i'll show you guys it when i'm finished when you're doing the top make sure that you're always weaving your ends while you're doing it so we're still making our border around it so we are doing the regular single crochet around this section and then when we reach the end of this row then we're going to put on back the peacock stitch so i'll show you guys when i'm finished so we're on the finishing of this row we're on the finishing of the border sorry guys chain two one two and then cut off your yarn okay guys so this is the finishing of the bikini bottom so remember guys the front is consists of 21 and the back is consists of 22 we did five non-increase five increase and then the rest into an increase and non-increase the back we did five increase and then the rest was into increase and non-increase so let's go straight on start off by making a magic circle then chain nine then slip stitch into the ninth spot if you haven't subscribed yet guys what are you waiting on subscribe and be a part of the sparks family chain three yarn over go into this space here this circle 
14 times while you're weaving in your ends Fourteen. So chain four. One, two, three, four. Turn your work. We're going to do a triple crochet. Yarn over two times. Go into the next stitch. Pull two, two. Yarn over. Pull two, two. Yarn over. Pull two, two. Chain one. Yarn over two times. Go into the next stitch. Pull up a hoop. Yarn over, pull two, two, yarn over, pull two, two, yarn over, pull two, two, chain one, yarn over two times, go into the next stitch, pull up a hoop, yarn over, pull two, two, yarn over, pull two, two, yarn over, pull two, two, chain one. And you're going to continue this until you reach all the way around to this end. So just continue that for me, guys. Reach at the last one. Don't miss out this one, guys. It's right above our chain three. And that's the first set. So we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen fifteen included our chain three so chain up four all right we're going to do a peak pko stitch so we're going to slip stitch right back into that same chain chain three and then i'm going to do a slip stitch into the next one this stitch right on top of my triple crochet chain up three one two three slip stitch right back on top of that chain three slip stitch into the next stitch slip stitch into the next stitch right above our triple crochet chain up two three sorry chain up three two three slip stitch right back into that spot slip stitch into the next section and we're going to do this until we reach right to the end so just continue doing that guys don't forget the last one right above of the chain four chain up three Sorry about that guys. One, two, three. Slip stitch right back into that spot. And now you're going to chain up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Slip stitch right under your treble. Let's stitch one more time below that. Slit stitch one more time. And then slip stitch right in between this circle. Alright. Turn your work. Yarn over, go into the space that you have your chain six in, your chain six with a double crochet. So it's yarn over, go inside, pull up a hoop, yarn over, pull two one, yarn over, pull two three. And we're going to do this ten times. So just continue doing that, guys. Chain up four. Turn your work, 
yarn over two time go into the next stitch same thing that we did before that's what we're going to do pull two two pull two two chain one yarn over two time go into the next stitch pull up a hoop yarn over pull two two yarn over pull two two yarn over pull two two so we do it three time <coughs> chain one yarn over two time go into the next stitch pull up a hoop pull two two yarn over pull two two yarn over pull two two and you're going to do this all the way to this end but you're going to leave one space so go all the way to the second spot so this is the second space from the end All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we need nine treble there. So what we're going to do now, we are going to slip stitch into this section under the bottom of the treble. But this is, we're only going to do it for this row. We're going to do it slip stitch different section when we continue. So just for this row, we're going to slip stitch right there. So turn your work and slip stitch right above our treble and then chain up four, one, two, three, four, slip stitch right on top. We're doing a peacock stitch again and then slip stitch into the next section slip stitch right above our treble and chain up three slip stitch right back into that treble slip stitch into the next one and we're going to continue doing this until we reach to the end of this round so remember you're going to make the peacock stitch right above our treble All right, guys, so we did our last peacock right above our chain. So chain up six again. And then you're going to place that six right under our treble. And then place one more slip stitch below that. Place another slip stitch below that. And then place our last slip stitch right in between our circle. Turn our work. Yarn over. Go into our sixth chain. And do 10 double crochet into this space. Just like we did before. So just continue doing that guys. chain up four turn your work so we're doing the same thing again yarn over two time go into the next stitch pull through two pull through two pull through two chain one yarn over two time go into the next stitch and we're going to do this all the way to the second space at the end so you're supposed to have nine treble in all so just continue doing that guys so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine so we're going to slip stitch right on our second peacock stitch so this is what we're going to do for all the rest of the rows right on our second peacock stitch we are going to do our slip stitch turn your work slip stitch right above your treble chain up four slip stitch right back into that same spot slip stitch into the next space 
slip stitch right above our treble and then chain up three go back into that same space with a slip stitch and slip stitch into the next spot slip stitch right above our treble and this is what you're going to continue to do until you reach to the end of this row and then chain up six slip stitch right under your treble and the same thing that we just finished do that's what we're going to do for all the rest of the row that we have and then slip stitch into the circle turn your work yarn over going to the space 10 times chain of four turn your work yarn over two time go into the next space pull two two yarn over pull two two yarn over pull two two chain one yarn over two time go into the next space so the same thing that we did that's what we're going to continue to do so you're going to have nine trebles so just continue doing this guys all right guys one two three four five six seven eight nine always leave one space then you're going to slip stitch right into our second peacock stitch and just do that for all the rest of the rounds that you have turn your work and just continue from there with your peacock stitch so chain up your four so you're just going to do it now to the height of your choice when I'm finished, I'll tell you how much I did. So guys, I'm finished and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I have 10 mosé and now I'm going to do the next. So I'm going to make my chain. Just make a chain that is long enough to go around your back and to strap crossway to tie. Alright guys, so just do that okay guys so i'm going to cut it off pull through and tug so i finished this set of the mousse i did 240 chain to strap up the back so i have my two set of mousse Right, and the bikini bottom so I'm going to have to mark it up as how I want it guys so I'm going to attach this section to this section and then put on the strap for the side then make a chain for the center so I'm going to start from the chain from the center first. I'm going to make a chain that is long enough to lace in the middle of the bikini. So just make one that is long enough for you guys to put in between the two mozi. So I did 250 chain that I'm going to lace in the center here but I'm not ready for that right now. So I put on some stitch marker right at the fifth spot one two three four five so that i won't touch this one so i'm going into the six same thing i did with this side put it on the fifth spot so i know that i'm going at the six i have a stitch marker here so that when i do this side this side will also balance with the same amount of measurement so i'm going to start off like this i'm going to put my needle to the opposite side as in the inner part of my bikini because I want to do a good grip 
I make a magic circle, attach my hook to it, pull it in like this, and I'm just going to catch it right there. This piece is where I'm going to do my strap, so I'm not going to touch this piece. I'm going to go into this piece, going into the second one. So I go into the second one, and then I'm going to place back my hook right back into that same section that I have my magic circle coming from. And I pull up a hoop, and I'm going to pull it right through. So I'm doing a slip stitch. What is like a double slip stitch. Alright guys. So watch carefully now. My yarn is at the inner part of my bikini. So I'm going to place now my needle into the next peacock stitch. And go into the next stitch space. And that space was where I made my border. I yarn over. Pull up a hoop. Pull right through and then slip stitch. Go into the next peacock stitch. Go into my next stitch. Yarn over. Pull up a hoop right through and then slip stitch. And that's what I'm going to do until I reach right, right where my marker is. So just go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a hoop, and slip stitch. And this is my last one, go into that space, go into my next stitch, yarn over, pull up my hoop, and slip stitch. So now I'm just going to slip stitch right across without having anything holding down. So just slip stitch right across. So you can see it's firmly attached and I'm just going to just slip stitch right across. So just go into the next stitch, pull up a hoop and slip stitch. So I'm going to do the next one off camera and then I'm going to do my attachment guys. So just go straight across and when you reach to this one you're going to place on where your stitch marker is place on this section and then just continue go until you reach this one all right guys so just continue doing that okay guys so we finished fastening on this section of it super neat make sure that you put a thumbs up on this video so now we're going to put on our strap at the back and also on the front so start off by your magic circle And make sure that you weave in your ends on your bikini. I only had three ends, one here and the section that I carry across. So that's why I like weaving my ends while I'm working. Less work for me after. So push through your needle. Pull up a hoop. And then start to make a chain that is long enough to reach to the next end. So just chain up that. So this is 100 chain. And I'm going to put on on the next section off camera as well. So we're going to do the front. Create your magic circle. And then right where we have this peacock stitch hang off, we're going to place our crochet hook right in between it. And then pull up our magic circle and then start to chain and then make a chain of a 100 just like how you did 100 at the back just make the same 100 Okay guys, so I finished all my straps and now I'm going to turn the back of this, make a cross.
and I'm going to place it into the third peacock stitch so one two three the third peacock stitch at the bottom same thing for the next side one two three So there's going to be an X at the back and then you're going to do your tie with the bow at the back. Alright, for the front. I'm going to do this one off camera because this one going to be a little long and I don't want this video to be too long as how it's long already. So I'm going to space one, two, I'm going to start from into the third chain on my peacock stitch. One, two, three. One, two, three. And I'm going to go into the third one two three so I'm going to make an X in each third I'm gonna do a cross over with an X so guys I'm gonna show you that when I finish it so just continue watching and hit that subscribe button guys be a part of the sparks family so guys this is the finishing of the bikini bottom have you subscribed yet what are you waiting on guys be a part of the sparks family for awesome crochet work like this guys each one teach one super cute super neat and it is to die for yes guys make sure that you hit that like button subscribe to my channel if you think this is beautiful so this is a section where I did the cross so guys hit that subscribe button peace out love you guys